people who have the guts to ask their crush out. What happened afterwards? Found out she liked me before she started dating her new boy Firend. Damn. She thought I was joking. We're still friends. But it was pretty awkward. Oh hey. This has been me like 8 times. I need to get better at reading signals. I told her I loved her on the first date. She said what? I said it again in case she didn't bloody hear IT the first time. Few years later we're still together. So far it's the best decision I've ever made. Have you, e, you met Ted? He screamed no and ran away. This was in the 5th grade. Life be like that sometimes. She said yes. Asked her out on a second date. Specifically said the word date this time. She said she didn't know we were going out on dates. Oh well. Classic. I realized I developed crushes easily and had pretty bad taste. Before you get to know the person some attraction is okay. What happens though the longer you don't ask them out, the more they become idolized in your head. If you ask them out and they say yes you might even be surprised that you aren't that into them once you get to know them. We went out on a date and I learned she was not the one for me after all. But it was a good lesson and had I not asked her out I'd just agonized over what might have been. Ditto. Ask this guy out. He seemed sweet and smart and was cute. First time I ever asked someone out. He said yes. First date was picking up a video after he got off work and watching it at his place. Sounds good. He's really anal about the timing though which is weird. Yep. He was on house arrest. Probation after being in the federal pen. Not a violent crime. Thank god. But taught me that it would be smart to get to know someone a tad better before agreeing to be alone with them in their home. Edit. To everyone assuming it was drugs, it wasn't. It had to do with organized crime. Not a small lapse in judgment. And not for having a little weed on him or something. Also. My point was that I went someplace to be alone with someone who was a practical stranger. I realized that was not a particularly smart move in general. I didn't know this person before I put myself in a vulnerable situation. Which is vulnerable whether or not the person has a criminal record. I did not decide not to date him solely because he was on house arrest or had a criminal record. Everyone makes mistakes. Including myself. The bigger issue was that he didn't take responsibility for what he did. He made excuses. Insisted he didn't really hurt anyone. And blamed other people for what happened. This is not a case of making a mistake. Owning up to it. And moving on. Also. Turned out he was incredibly racist. Which is unrelated. But an issue for me. Haha <laughs> I got rejected and now it's awkward sometimes. Respect for trying. Sorry it's awkward. Sometimes shit happens. And at least you know. I've had multiple crushes. All of them rejected me and never talked to me again. Sounds about right. The best one was I'll think about it which was followed a day later by her asking my best friend to tell me not to talk to her again. Fun for days. Asked mine out today. Have a date on Friday. Congrats on your courage and have a great date on Friday. She punched me in the arm and said duck yeah. Then we went on the most awkward nerd date because we just wanted to like each other. It was a good nerd date. We are still dating to this day. Nice to see some positivity among the rejection. She's sitting next to me in our apartment playing Minecraft. Never thought she'd actually be interested in me. I guess I was selling myself short. Do it OP. Could be the best thing you ever do. Minecraft will always and I mean always. Get you the woman you want. Edit. Minecraft is the sexiest thing a man hasn't owns. Edit 2. Thank you you slash Joshua Woods for the poor man's gold. You are a truly absolutely amazing human being. We are blessed with you in this world today. I actually asked her to a dance and she said no. Half a year later I asked another crush to a dance and she said no. Then half a year after that I asked a different crush to a dance and guess what? Holy duck she said yes I was duck I'm confused I wasn't used to that answer. Oh. Okay. Thanks anywa, wait. What? Well we've had someone ghost me. A bunch of standard rejection. Me ducking up terribly with one person in particular and never getting the chance again. 
and one person admits that they were interested in someone else. I'm sorry to hear about that man. I too have had bad luck. She said she wants to go out on a date. One led to two. Three. Etc. Sunday I'm gonna try and kiss her after our concert. Eat plenty of beans before the date and bring beans for her to eat too. Beaches love beans. Edit. I am so grateful to have been rewarded for my wise words of advice. I cannot thank you enough. We were hanging out at our typical spot when I told her that I'd had a big crush on her for the past year and I'd really like it if she gave me a shot. Just one date. She said head. Nah. I don't see you like that. And then it was. A pretty ducking weird. She tried changing the subject, but I was a million miles away by that point. I made up a reason to take off and she graciously didn't call me out for it being bullshit. I avoided her over the next few weeks. For some reason or another. Her rejection humiliated me even though no one else knew about it. If she texted to see if I wanted to hang out. I wouldn't respond or I'd lie and say I was doing something. One night. There was a knock on the door of my apartment. It was with her. I knew she'd come around. I opened the door and she came in and sat down on my couch and said this, and I'm paraphrasing. I just don't like you in a romantic way. I can't help it. I'm just not attracted to you. You just don't spark my fire. I'm sorry. That being said, I miss you. You're my best friend and I spend pretty much all my free time with you. So if you want to go on a date with me, I'll do that for you. It wasn't easy, but I was able to find the maturity to conquer those feelings. We picked up where we left off. Minus a little baggage. A few years ago. A lifelong friend from back home came down to visit me. I introduced him to my friends here and... Well. She found her spark. They've been happily married now for two years and I can only hope that their son and my daughter can enjoy the same level of friendship as her and I do. I have a tip for everyone who finds it difficult to ask out people they're interested in. Ask them out before you get too attached. Then if they say no it's not devastating. If they say yes you get this time to get to know them and you can break it off if you decide you're actually not interested. If you have to see them often and you're worried they might treat you differently just say I just wanted to explore my options with you if they turn you down. Don't let them think you were in love with them or something like that. Good luck. Edit. Had a lot of people saying they don't want to ask someone out based off looks. Me neither. You can enjoy someone's personality without letting yourself fall in love. It takes a little practice especially if you're young and all your emotions are so intense but you can do it. Last time I tried this she said yes. I got super attached and then she basically say lol jk and started dating my best friend. Wait to get attached until you have the second date planned. She said yes and we went out to dinner and saw a movie together. Dropping her off. We kissed on her parents front porch for what seemed like forever. Her dad thought so too because he started flicking the porch lights on and off. Good times. Standing on your mama's porch. You told me that you'd wait forever. Oh and when you held my hand. I knew it was now or never. Those were the best days of our lives. My sophomore. Her junior year of college. We got introduced through mutual friends and it. It. Off. We started hanging out at parties we both went to. In the coffee shop at my school. Doing homework. All that. We didn't really seek each other out. Just kept running into each other because of our mutual friend groups. This went on for a month. We'd hang out and chat and flirt jokingly. I didn't think I had a chance with her being a pretty popular girl a year older than me so I figured she was just being nice returning my jokes and all, it turns out. She didn't think she had a chance with me and also thought I was just being nice friendly with my jokes. Her and her friends would always joke when will I be with you slash thermal climber. He's the light of my life. And so I didn't think of it as any less of a fun joke when she did it. One night we both went out to a bar party with a group of friends and ended up going home with different people. We were chatting about it the next day and I was like duck. This hurts a little. Is this feelings? A couple days later she mentioned that the guy wanted to grab lunch with her. And she wasn't sure she was into him the same way. I was walking her home and thought that if I didn't say something I'd regret it. 
so I gambled that maybe all that joking flirting from her was real. Told her I had feelings for her. And then spent the longest 5 seconds of my life waiting to hear I'm glad you said something. Because I like you too. It's been two and a half years and we're still going strong. That's awesome. I sat next to her in the university cafeteria, it was really, really awkward. Then one of her friends came by and made it more so. Turns out we were both really shy. But had a mutual interest in geekery like sci-fi. We've been married 15 years now. This gives me hope after I've sat alone in my university cafeteria every day since I've started college. He was the head chef where I worked and I was new in town. We always sat in the same booth during our breaks and got to know each other over the course of a month and found out we had a lot in common. One night before I left I wrote my number down to give it to him and to ask him out. We asked each other do you wanna hang out? At the same time and then blushed. Our first date was at a rooftop bar celebrating a co-worker's birthday. He asked me if he could kiss me. That's when I knew he was the one. Now. Years later. We have a beautiful baby boy that we love more than each other. He still has my phone number in his wallet. Oh this is adorable. We're getting married on Saturday. Nice. He said he wasn't looking for a girlfriend but he was interested if it was sex only. I politely declined. Well. At least he was honest about it. I just recently got my first ever crush. It is really hard for me to develop feelings for someone. As I need to know this person very good. I know her for more than 2 years now and we never were more than just school friends. The last holidays though. We suddenly did more and more together with other friends and I developed feelings for her. Then. After we had been at a friend's house and slept there after a movie night with 6 people in one room. I should have had to share a bed with a male friend of mine. But I did share this bed with my crush. She liked me. I did not know at that time though. We drank a bit and cuddled before on the sofa while watching movies for a while. So I just went into the bed I should have had to share with my male friend with her. Lol. We cuddled the whole night and I asked her out the next day. She said yes and we are now in a relationship. I am beyond happy. Edit. I edited the text a bit to make it better to read and change the mistake. As my crush should have had slept with two other girls on the sofa. Not on a bed like me and my male friend. Edit 2. I am an introvert and she told me. That she had liked me before those holidays already. She actually asked a friend if she would invite me on a small party and with that it all started and we did more and more together. This is exactly how I would want to start a relationship with someone. She really wanted to but was busy. Edit. Holy shit this blew up overnight. Thanks for the silver and all the kind words. I grew up and married a girl that wasn't as busy. Just remember dudes. If she says she's busy. She's probably not into you. If someone likes you they'll find time for you even at odd hours. Who's gonna tell him? Enjoy your time together. Makes me happy to see someone take steps to improve themselves and actually acknowledge the lessons as they unfold in front of them. Good luck. We're still together 15 years later. Happy and in love. Apparently I was the catch. But didn't realize. We met on Tinder and after about a month or so of seriously talking and hanging out we were laying in bed about to fall asleep and I asked him to be my boyfriend. The next morning we talked about it and he said he thought it was in a dream that I asked. But still stood by his answer 100%. That was 8 months ago and we are still happily dating. Damn. My GF and I have been together for almost 9 months now and we also met on Tinder. I'm a huge Star Wars fan so on our third date. We were watching A New Hope and I paused the movie to ask if she wanted to be my girlfriend. She said yes. And then I had no idea what to do so I just resumed the movie. Rejected and worse. He bullied me all through high school. Honestly. What did you saw in him? He refused me. Politely telling me he's actually male. I thought he was a girl. Did you talk to this person before asking him out? When I asked them out. They just looked at me and said these. Exact. Words. You know you're ugly and I'm pretty. Right? I gave up on love after that but then one of my other crushes asked me out. Oh we know that sounds so hearty crushing. 
I'm glad someone worth your time asked you out after that. Ro. Some people can be so freaking disrespectful. Rejection. Respect for trying. Make sure to like and subscribe so we can watch together.